This is the prince you are talking about. This is Kevin. I don't know, yeah, Prince Samuel Johnson. I told you that they are saying, you told me that. I read it. So, so, so just one minute, I can into in the interview late, just one minute for my sake. This is Prince Moba. This is Prince Moba, I report for Prime FM and focus on Liberal TV. So, I mean, how are you doing? You are yet uh, at the first State of the Nation address after you have been announced as the director of the Drugs Enforcement Agency of Liberia. How are you feeling today? I feel great. I, I, to see the president of the new drugs as a centerpiece of his speech, adding us there and establishing us on to the presidential platform. I think it's a good initiative. The fact that the president will be taking drug tests, that is a system that has to go all around the world. That the president of the is prepared and committed to this drug test. What does it mean for you, someone who will be sitting now at that in a chair, in a very hot chair? Liberia is uh, uh, it's a very hot spot when it comes to drugs addiction and drug abuse. What does it mean for you when the head of state has declared as national emergency and you will be heading that that that, that center? I consider it a personal challenge. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I don't I like to be challenged. This is what I do. When I came back home from school, I saw the country. I saw the army moving very hard. You saw the lawless they were high, and I consider it a challenge, and we put everything in place, and we do it for the crowd. We can do it. This is, this is part of what I do. I've done drugs before. I've drugs with football before when I was director of CID. Uh, this, is, this, is, this is not true. It's not, not, not a problem. What's the message to Liberians as you'll be maybe confront tomorrow, the other tomorrow, and some to start your work? Maybe some people will not be comfortable. Mm -hmm. We'll make this place. If you have a drug problem, we will make this place ungovernable for you. Say that again. Once you are a drug peddler, uh, and, and the kids that are on the street, they are sick. They need treatment. So that's why we have three front approach. We will deal with the enforcement or the importation of drugs in our country. Uh, once we reduce that importation, we take guys who are already affected, most of the kids who are sick, they need treatment, they need rehabilitation. Then we take them from them and go to life school training. We train them. The drug market is a syndicate. I can remember this very legislature were accused of being involved in the drug trafficking. That case was buried right here at the grounds of the Capitol building. What will, how will you handle cases like that when somebody alleges that a member of the legislature is involved in the drug trafficking? What will you do, A.B. Kruma? I can tell you, nobody is going to be exempted from my No, there will be no objection, there will be no space. Once you are in a ring of violation, I'll go after you all the might. And so I can tell that. I'm not straight to the Liberian law enforcement community. They're well of it. Everybody knows me. Um, we, we just follow the law. We might not be comfortable with a lot of guys. We might be going to be a wicked man, a bad man. But man, basically... Are you a bad man? No, I'm just a guy who, follow, who wants to go straight up with the law. It's not being bad, but you know, I understand. But it's okay, it's good. Thank you. You can give me all your definition, but so long that we enforce the law, we are in the confine of the law. I never go outside. If the citizen guideline tells me, say, from 1 to 15 and I go 9, it's not being bad, it's just being straight to the law. I've always go by the law. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, so folks, his name is Conor Abraham Kruman there. Uh, he's uh, the current uh, drugs. Director of Drugs Enforcement Agency there, speaking with me, uh, he's going there, he's challenged Liberians uh, when it comes to drugs abuse, thanks for following us, he's going in now uh, to uh, sit with the president, of course um, he's taking the other side, All right, so that's great, it's great for being there. I'm gonna So we stay here, uh, keep tuned to FOL, this is Focus on Liberal TV, my name is Prince. Yaka Kalva is also here, uh, he's trying to get into his vehicle, and the press is trying to chat with me. I don't know how can I get close. Yes. You, you want this, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> the, 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 the,
40 days like it was, the 40 days, the person of this country that I can be for, told me, say, yeah, yeah, when you can be for me, when I win, the young people from the diaspora and, and, and here will put their ego on the CEO of this type of politician. Now, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. When you want me to talk, then I will talk. If you don't want me to talk, I'll get in my time. Now, the first place, Joseph Bogart laughed at me. And the first place, he laughed at me. I don't want to talk. I just said their job. I don't want to talk. I just said their job. The second thing, is Joseph Bogart told the whole world that you are broke in all her money to the point where you are in your job, you drop your money. No, 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 uh, keeping you informed, keeping you up to date with happenings here at the grounds so of the Capitol building. The president is staying indoor. He stay uh, in the rotunda of the Capitol building, having chat with lawmakers, having chat with member of the, members of the legislature, having chat with uh, foreign guests who have come to win this occasion. As, as you are aware, or you may be aware, this did not happen during the inauguration. It ended prematurely. The president did not have time to sit with foreign guests to chat with them. But this time around, the president is, is having a long time with them. They're having some, some, some chit chat right in there. This is a return of the president Muro is back here. The security preventing us from passing. But I love that. Uh, of course, you can see the first car is where the president will enter in uh, to get you to go home. But we are still here. So, uh, thanks for following. Thanks for following. Why are you best? Why are you best with your kid? Your kid is talking. He's Ooh. a stupid man. Why you say so? You on you on live? Why you saying that? Mm -hmm. he, he left. Mm -hmm. There's a procedure. Okay. Eh? You know everything that makes you angry, and then you come to the public and jail, family, speak out. Okay. You understand? Yeah, I'm for the city that I'm for the city and the ground background. Okay, from local county. All the country on the way to respect other people. Your kid doesn't do that. He go. Okay. You know, my wife, you know, mm -hmm. that he could not just open his mouth. Empty lane, just talk out. You feel angry the way you speak to Jesus Christ. I saw you see when you feel he can speak out. Mm -hmm. The harbor said to I saw angry. I keep particular. I can come here for the for that man. I'm not about to say. Joe Parker picking. Eh? You can see he have more. We start after him. We start like he in a baby. That, we have no fear. That's, that's, that's we have silent here. That should be a threat to the lawmakers. That's thing, not threat. Mm -hmm. But we'll make sure you keep silent. Oh, don't keep, keep silent. Keep silent. From the, from the lower county side now. Silent. Okay. What is the message? Keep silent. What is the message to Yeke, your, your, your lawman brother? I went Why you want him to do? I put him down for his car. Okay. <laughs> I put him down for his car. I told him he had one dollar. Mm -hmm. You must be vulnerable. We are respectful jobs. We respect tradition. We don't go about just speaking out. Thank you so much. Personally, personally, I mobilized 25 men. I left in the show 15. When you draw back and begin calling for looking at the bush for Allen, I draw back and begin mobilized and say, we fear nobody. 25 men, I pull my own mother, I pull my own mother, I just pull it. I don't give up for the guy, you will see it. That the show 10 for the guy again. You better for your guy call him. For him! For him! But the just car, we're not saying, jump ahead to now. All the, I mean, a public asset. But the procedure, the criteria set, then you go through it. There's the one to them making one way in power. Why would you be so emotional, speaking out, rubbish against the person? You call that one rubbish? It's a rubbish! Everything is speaking out is a rubbish. So thank you so Everything much. Everything he's speaking out is rubbish. Why, why, why and he will refrain for that particular. Why, why, why do you why think? You said it as rubbish. Why he put you to go against? Why Perhaps, you know what I see? You know what I see for that question when you ask? Let me be so blunt to you. You know what I see? What I foresee? You saw that Elisala Pumis was not going nowhere. 
That is why he jumped behind. So that's how he jumped. He's not a unit of the man. He's not a unit of the man. Yeah, guys used to do the same thing with, with George Weah. Most of the time he used to take to the media and insult George Weah. And you see when he used to take to the media, some of us used to frown on that. You don't, be, you don't insult the state leaders. You don't insult. You don't come up. So finally, what's your message? Maybe you are listening. Maybe you are listening yeah, listen to you. He's a lawmaker, mm -hmm. and it's true mm -hmm. that you must speak out for the people. The people interest matter, mm -hmm. but there is a way you speak out that the people themselves it will go down well with them. That it will commiserate with the people, but nowhere you just come up and probably and just speak out like gibberish, nonsense. Thank you so much. What's your name again? I'm Joe Baga Piggy. So his name is Joe Baga Piggy. Joe he's Baga Piggy. very, he's very angry with Yeke. He's angry with Yeke. 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 We don't know what's going to happen, but thanks for following us. I'm going to go off again and come back when the training issues arrive. This is what we are here to do. I'm sure our viewers across the world, uh, you might be following us from the, the, the United Kingdom there in, in England. You might be following us from the United States of America. You might be following us from somewhere in, in, in the, the UAE, in the Middle East. You might be following us somewhere in Africa. You might be following us from here in Liberia. My name is Prince Moreover, this is Focus on Liberia Television. We are here at the grounds of the Capitol building, the seat of the Liberian legislature, to bring you this courage of the day, ma'am. I'm here with my colleague, Gwendolyn Director. She stayed around. I'm right here, posted before the motorcade of President Joseph Wakai. In a few minutes, you will be coming out. He stay in there, in the rotunda of the Capitol, of the Capitol building, where he's having some uh, 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 chat with legislators and other foreign guests who have come uh, to witness uh, his first day of the national address. You listen to the president, his attention, so many national issues that uh, we're going to be uh, digging deep, deeper of that, uh, so on. Thanks for following us. Bye-bye. Do join me another time. My name is Prince.